So Dr. List, could you tell me more, when you see a patient who comes in with lower risk MDS, what is your treatment strategy? Well, our goal of therapy for lower risk patients really is just to improve the blood counts and alleviate symptoms. Um, most of these patients have a survival that's measured in years, so we're not worried about changing the natural history or suppressing the potential for leukemia or even the potential for cure. We really want to just improve the blood performance. So we do that using several different approaches. Uh, one of those is with recombinant erythropoietin. And erythropoietin is the red blood cell hormone that our body makes, but this is a synthetic form of that. And it gets given as an injection uh, under the skin every week to every three to four weeks. Another one is lenalidomide, and that was specifically approved for a subtype of MDS called MDS with chromosome 5Q deletion. It's the most common chromosome matter mounting we see in MDS, uh, and it's very effective. Uh, after that, there's a small population of patients that we consider for immunosuppressive therapy, treatments such as what we call antithymocyte globulin, which is really antibodies raised in horses against human lymphocytes. Uh, and lastly, hypomethylating agents. Um, what hypomethylating agents are chemicals that will change how the DNA is packaged to allow that DNA packaging to open up so the genes can be turned on, expressed normally, and allow the cells to mature. Those four are the primary backbone of what we use for the treatment of lower risk patients. And can you tell me, do, do all patients need treatment or sometimes watchful waiting an okay strategy? That's a very good point. Many patients will be diagnosed when they have very modest cytopenias, which they'll have no symptoms from. And in the absence of symptoms for someone with lower risk disease, there really is no reason for treatment intervention. It's only is if they are symptomatic, or number two, they're having medical complications from that. The patient may not have symptoms related to severe thrombocytopenia, meaning a very, very low platelet count, However, they may be extremely high risk for bleeding, and in that situation, we may want to consider treatment.